Picture this. You're making a morning cup of tea or perhaps filling a glass with freshly boiled water straight from the kettle. It looks crystal clear, with steam gently rising. The very picture of purity, right? But what if that reassuring boil up isn't telling the whole story? What if invisible contaminants, ones that don't just vanish with heat, are still lurking in your water and that tap in your kitchen isn't delivering the truly pure water you expect for your family? Today we're exploring the science behind water purification, specifically the crucial differences between boiled and filtered water. I'll show you evidence of what boiling misses, what filtration captures and why understanding this difference could significantly impact your family's health. If you've ever wondered whether that kettle is doing enough to protect you from contaminants found in water, this video will give you the definitive answer. The hidden truth about boiled water. Is boiling your water actually making some contaminants worse? What your kettle isn't telling you might surprise you. Let's discuss what's really happening when you boil your tap water. Most of us grew up being told that boiling water makes it safe to drink. It's what mum and dad taught us, what we learned in school, and what we still do today whenever there's a water advisory in our area. For generations, boiling has been the go-to method for water safety. When you're camping or traveling, it's the first thing people tell you to do with suspect water sources. And it makes sense, right? The high temperature should kill all the nasty things in the water. However, a closer look at water chemistry reveals an interesting story about what boiling actually does and doesn't do to your water. See. While boiling does a brilliant job killing bacteria, viruses and other living organisms in your water, it doesn't touch many of the chemical contaminants that might be present. In fact, in some cases, it makes them worse. Let me show you what actually happens when water boils. As the temperature rises to 100 degrees Celsius, harmful pathogens like E. coli and Giardia are killed off. That's good. But all those other things in your water, lead, arsenic, nitrates, pesticides and other chemicals, they stay right where they are. They don't evaporate and they don't break down. And here's the really concerning bit. As some of the water turns to steam, the concentration of these chemicals in the remaining water actually increases. Think of it like making soup stock. When you simmer it down, the flavor gets stronger because you're reducing the water while the ingredients remain. Similarly, with chemicals in water, boiling can concentrate them. For example, if copper is present from household pipes, its concentration in the remaining water can increase after boiling, potentially bringing it closer to or even exceeding health guideline levels in some instances. You can't see, taste or smell these contaminants, but they're still there. Scientists note that boiling is excellent for microbial disinfection, but it's a physical misconception that it purifies water from chemical contaminants. In fact, it can exacerbate chemical concentration problems particularly in areas with older infrastructure or natural mineral deposits. And it's not just metals we need to worry about. Many other contaminants survive the boiling process completely intact. Pesticides from agricultural runoff, industrial chemicals, pharmaceutical residues that get into the water supply, boiling doesn't touch any of these. Chlorine might partially evaporate during boiling, which can improve the taste, but its harmful byproducts like trihalomethanes often remain. PFAS chemicals, those forever chemicals you might have heard about in the news, also remain when you boil water. Same goes for nitrates from fertilizers, which can be particularly harmful to infants. Fluoride, whether you consider it beneficial or not, also becomes more concentrated in boiled water. So is boiled water really as clean as we think it is? The answer is clearly no. While boiling effectively kills germs, which is important, it can actually make chemical contamination worse. This isn't to say you should stop boiling water during advisories. You absolutely should follow public health guidance. But for everyday drinking water quality, boiling alone isn't giving you the protection you might think. This brings us to an important question. If boiling isn't enough to give us truly clean water, what actually works? The good news is there's a solution that tackles what boiling misses, and that's what we're going to look at next. How proper filtration can remove those contaminants that boiling leaves behind. The filtration revolution. What if I told you there's a simple technology you can put in your kitchen that removes up to 99.9% .9 of those harmful things in your water? I'm talking about proper water filtration, and it does what boiling just can't do. Unlike boiling that just kills the living things in your water, filters physically remove contaminants. Think of it like this. Boiling is like killing bugs in your house, but leaving them there while filtering is like actually sweeping them out the door. 
Big difference, right? Uh, with filtration, the water passes through special materials that trap or grab onto the bad stuff. This happens in different ways depending on what kind of filter you're using. Some work like tiny sieves, catching particles based on their size. Others use special materials that attract chemicals like little magnets, pulling them out of your water as it passes through. There are quite a few different filters you can choose from, and they're not all the same. Uh, let's look at what they can do that boiling ah, can't. Carbon filters, the most common ones, are brilliant at removing chlorine. You know that swimming pool smell in tap water? Carbon filters get rid of that, and they also trap the chemicals that make your water taste and smell funny. But basic carbon filters won't catch everything. If you're worried about heavy metals like lead or copper, especially if you've got old pipes, you might want a reverse osmosis system. These are the most thorough filters available, using a special membrane with holes so tiny that almost nothing except water molecules can pass through. Under optimal conditions, they can remove up to 99.9% .9 of contaminants, including those forever chemicals called PFAS and microplastics that have been in the news. The health benefits of proper filtration are really important, especially for certain people. Pregnant women and young children are much more sensitive to contaminants like lead and nitrates. Even small amounts of these can affect brain development. Elderly folks or people with weakened immune systems can also benefit greatly from the extra protection water filters provide. We can also look at before and after water testing in homes that installed filtration systems. Consider typical results. In a home with high lead, levels can drop from 12 parts per billion to nearly zero after installing a reverse osmosis system. In another instance, Chlorine byproducts that can irritate asthma can be completely eliminated with a carbon filter. And in older homes with copper pipes, the copper levels that typically cause stomach issues can fall by 95% after filtering. Simple carbon cartridges will remove chlorine quite easily, which improves the taste straight away. But for serious and stronger protection, reverse osmosis water filters are your best bet to remove the nasty contaminants from your drinking water. They combine the carbon filter with a special membrane to give you the most complete and thorough filtration possible. The whole house water filters are another option if you want protection from everything coming into your home. These provide maximum reduction of incoming contaminants, not just in your drinking water, but in your shower and bath too. That's important because your skin can absorb chemicals during a hot shower and you breathe in more when the water vaporizes. When you compare all the evidence, it's clear that filtration is significantly more effective at removing the contaminants that matter most to your health. Boiling is good for emergencies when you're worried about bacteria, but for day to day, a high quality water filter addresses far more of the potential health risks in your water. Better protection for your water. So we've seen the facts and they're pretty clear. Boiling water works great for killing germs in emergencies, but for everyday drinking water, a proper filter is the better choice. Water filters actually remove the chemicals and metals that boiling can't. If you're worried about your family's health, look into getting a good water filter that tackles what's in your local water. You don't need to spend loads, but it's worth getting something that works properly for your situation. Remember, just because your water looks clean doesn't mean it is clean. What you can't see might still be affecting your health, so take control of your water quality today.